We continue with the action here at Albergue Olimpico Salinas. Puerto Rico, it is Ring City, USA. Presented in association with Bash Boxing and Dabella Entertainment. Now, a clash of two former world title challengers set for a distance of eight rounds or less in the middleweight division. Our judges at ringside are Charlie Ruiz, Gerardo Martinez, and Hernando Stated. Our third lady in the ring, referee Melba Santos. Presenting first, the fighter standing in the blue corner, wearing white with pink trim. She weighed in at an official 156 pounds. Tonight, in her ninth professional bout, she enters the ring with a record of seven victories against one lone defeat, four of those victories coming by way of KO from Monterrey, Nuevo León, Mexico. Alma Ibarra. Across the ring in the red corner, wearing black with white lettering, her official weight, 158 and one quarter pounds. She enters the ring in her 18th professional bout with an impressive record of 13 victories against four losses, five of those victories coming by way of KO from Los Angeles, California. Maricela, La Diva Cornejo. Okay, chica, ya yo le dije la, las instrucciones. Okay, lady, you know the rules. Obey my command all the time. Obedezcan todos los comandos que le dé. Protect yourself all the time. Protejanse en todo el tiempo. Felicidades en, ese, en vez de la mujer. Muy orgullosa de, orgullosa de que estén aquí peleando en este mes. So, okay. so we're getting ready for the women taking center stage. Two women with very intriguing storylines that we want to share with you. Maricela Cornejo out of Los Angeles and Alma Ibarra of Mexico. Ibarra, a single mom. Her son, Elian, seven years of age. She said that her son is her life. Everything that she does is to try to provide a better life for her. Her son is extremely dedicated, has been through numerous trials and tribulations in her career. But here she is at the age of 32 in the ring against Cornejo, who really is active on social media. Cornejo is an author with the release of her first children's book, Annie Love. She's an aunt of 11 nieces and nephews. Very active on social media, has a all access 24 seven and really as she said kind of found her way into boxing yeah, 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 yeah. No, not no, no, wasn't no, no, no. part of the career no, path for her okay? yeah she's a, a modern day renaissance woman it's an interesting story she said she only got into the sport to try to use it as a lift off to hollywood she yeah. saw what gina carano did in mma what ronda rousey did getting movie deals but she fell in love with the sport and in no time guys she became a world-class competitor she's fought for a world title three times <laughs> losing a split decision in new zealand a majority decision in her last time out coming so close to achieving that goal of being champion and the thing i liked hearing from conejo yesterday was she says i don't cheat on boxing i put everything to the side when it's time to box and you can tell being in here tonight she's moving the, around the ring she's being a ring general she's boxing and, and, and punching when she wants to not engaging in in a fight because alba alma wants to and she's doing a really good job and, and on the other side seeing alma continue to push forward and try to make a fight she's doing a really good job both of these women are Cornejo has learned the trade at the hands of Buddy McGirt. She can, Con Cornejo, she can get out of the way. She's got to continue to punch when she gets out of the way. We'll see more of that when we get back. Keep turning her, you understand? You gotta get that jab going, Mari. That jab is working for you. Throw the right hand off the jab. Beautiful. Deep breath, there you go. 
I need you to stay off the ropes, you hear me? Got it. Keep her in the center. Deep breath. There you go. There you go. Jab, feints, and jabs. Jab, feint, one, two. Okay? I need more combination from you. Just the second round. That round was a, that first round was a lot of armor pushing forward and trying to make the fight happen. Conejo was able to, you know, make it miss a lot, but not much offense of her own. You, you, we, we told stories that first round. You have to appreciate the stories of these women. And, but within that first round, with not talking about the boxing as much as what they were doing right now, you have to appreciate what they're doing. Marce Mar and Marcella is, is changing the game now. Now she's trying to, you know, use her offense. She knows that that first round she may have given, given away because of moving. Very good pressure from Ibarra in that first frame. And, gosh, she may have had a short amateur career, but her first fight after giving birth to her son in the amateurs, she fought Clarissa Shields, your number one pound for pound three division champion, lost by split decision. She said, I'd love to run that one back at the pro level. Yeah, and we, I, I love to see it. Stay on that stick. Stay low, give me a one, two. Marcella has a good, straight, fast jab. She just has to make it more effective. She's popping it, pop it, pop it, pop it. But find uh, Alba's face and start to score. You can tell she's a natural athlete. Yeah. And you like to see her surge and really put some power punches together to stop that forward momentum of Ibarra. There you go. There you go. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. Vamos. Vamos. Go to it with the double. These women, listen. They stop. They stop. Stop. <laughs> you first, baby. You first. Keep sticking. That's it. We mentioned Corne Cornejo wants her to be first. Straight punches, buddy. We mentioned Cornejo had been trained by the Hall of Famer, Buddy McGurdon. Still is trained by him. Buddy did not make the trip, however, for this one had a family emergency. Follow it up with the right hand. Don't just throw the hook. In times like that, it's like you're always pulling back on the training. You need, you, if, if, when that's your coach, you need him here to speak on it now. End of round two. Back at the corner of Maricela Cornejo. The hook is landing, but you got to set it up behind a good double jab right hand. <laughs> Better round for Mar Maricela. She was able to use her jab a little bit more and be more effective with it. She keeps popping it, and I want to see more of that this, this coming round. I'm with a lot of there you pressure. You know, she, she's still in these rounds with the pressure and the forward movement. Round number three begins, scheduled for eight. Alma Ibarra in the white, Maricela Cornejo in the black. Look, Ibarra's dictating the terms. It's not just very good pressure, but it's a sharp punching, accurate. She's really showing a, a, a better skill set early on. And now not pushing forward as much, at least not yet, but combination punching right there. Every time uh, Mar Maricela come, tries to come in, she's gonna, she's gonna punch in combination on um, this. Yeah, I mean, Cornejo's corner has said to her, you gotta be first, but it's Ibarra who is consistently first in this round.
Right hand landed by Ibarra. Big right hand there by Ibarra. Well, while she's being held, she's keeping her hands free and working the body. And that's what I thought Martinez should have did. I thought that he, even though he was being clenched and grabbed, he should have been trying to work and show that he is is, is trying to be effective and fight. And um, Amma's, Amma's got the right uh, strategy so far. What they say when we're in the ring, if you're being clenched, they say your hands are free. And when Amma has a hand free, she's going to work it. Ibarra has dictated the terms and been the sharper of the two, at least through three. Mm -hmm. She's going to eat it straight up because she's coming right to you. The best thing you could do right now is use that jab and put your punches together behind it. She's a sucker for the right, for that left hook. The right hand's there for you all day, Mari. Okay, but you gotta let it go. You, you hear me? Yeah. Okay, come on. You're waiting too long. You're waiting too long. You first. Be confident. Stand your ground and let your hands go. Okay? Finish with the left hook, okay? And then I need you going to your right, not to your left. Okay? Yeah. All they're looking for is an overhand right. Okay? We can counter that if you step over to the right, double jab right hand, finish with the left hook, stay low. That's it. Take a look at Alma Ibarra and good work in round number three. A combination opened up that right hand that landed. Not all four punches landed, but enough pressure to land one and win the round. Here's what's interesting. Cornejo fought for a world title against Franchon Cruz Desern at 168 pounds. Fought Kelly Reese for a world title at 160. Yet Ibarra, the career welterweight, moving up to middleweight for this one, is out muscling her. She's dictating, like we mentioned, all the turns. She's been the bigger puncher throughout. And you know what? I, listening to Cornejo's corner, I like what I heard Ivan say. He says, you have to be first. Stop waiting. When you wait on uh, pressure forward, Right hand scored by Ibarra. And, and what Corneo is doing is the wrong thing. She was told to move the other way, and she's moving to her left. She was told to move to her right, and that's making her susceptible to these right hands. A lot of pressure here for Mama. And accurate pressure. Yeah. Corneo's going to have to fight her way Another out of Another overhand right. Remember, Ibarra had 80 amateur fights. She's got a lot more experience. It's interesting, Sean, because you can instruct someone, yeah. but you know, then you get in there and the fists are flying and we heard Corneo's corner say, hey, you gotta move to your right to get away from that right hand and then put a combination together. And in this round, she's moved to her left almost the entire time. Yeah, and, that, and that's what I always say, more times than not, what you see a fighter do in the first or second early part of the fight, they're typically gonna do near the middle or end of the fight if they didn't make any adjustments along the way. Because if those adjustments haven't been made, they won't be made. Big round. Well, next week, Ring City USA remains in Puerto Rico, the Plaza del Quintero Centario in Old San Juan, and Amanda Serrano will be squaring off against Daniela Bermudez. I'm a Puerto Rican girl, but I lived my whole life in Brooklyn, Bushwick. I just can't explain it how every time I go to Puerto Rico, how I feel, how much pride I give Puerto Rico. To be headlining for Ring City USA in Puerto Rico, it's gonna be a great night. I'm Amanda the Real Dio Serrano. Don't miss my big night, March 25th, when I fight Daniela Bermudez. When you talk about 
some tremendous accomplishments. Serrano 39-1-1 one one with 29 knockouts. Bermudez 29-3 with 10 knockouts. Seven divisions for world championship for Serrano. And Bermudez, a three division champion, moving up to chase her fourth divisional world title. Serrano hasn't lost in nine years. Bermudez hasn't lost in seven. I'm looking forward to that one. Serrano's one of boxing's best kept secrets, Sean. She just keeps adding hardware yeah. to her collection. Yeah, every time I go to Brooklyn, that's all I hear about it. Amanda Serrano. That's number one against number one. It's going to be great. How does. Marcella Cornejo turned this fight around. You what? saw Steve Smoger's scorecard. He's got it in favor of Ibarra. I think anybody that's watching would feel that Ibarra has won these rounds. I like what Cornejo did starting this round. She's pushing forward, but there you go. Use your hands, not just the jab, though. Use that right hand as well. Well, if you saw the last 10 seconds of the, of the previous round, Cornejo spun Ibarra around into the corner, landed a very clean right hand. I think that gave her a lot of confidence going into the onto the stool between rounds. And, and I feel she's shown the left so much and enough. Now start using that right. The right will land, but you got to get confidence to throw it. Alma's not going to do anything different. She's She's got her foot on the gas pedal. She likes her rhythm and her tempo of moving forward, combination punching. That's what, that's what Alma's going to continue to do. Good right hand from Ibarra after forcing her into the corner. We asked Ibarra whether her seven-year-old son, Ilion, would be watching this fight. She laughed and said no. He tried one time from home. He ended up running upstairs, locking himself into the room. Did not want to see mom take the damage. Uh -huh. It's not easy to watch. Although Cornejo has done better in this round, yeah. is she doing enough to actually win the round? No, I don't think so. Five in the book, scheduled for eight. Look inside the Puerto Rico Olympic Training Center and Joe Ward, talented prospect from Ireland. Gonna be taking on Marco Delgado in a rematch. Ward was looking pretty good when he fought Delgado, but then tore his knee up and could not continue. Says he's 100% healthy and looking forward to seeing him against Marco Delgado, who does not seem phased whatsoever about the rematch. No, he seems very calm and cool and almost uh, distant from what's actually happening, but that injury to Ward, Sean, one of the most gruesome I've seen in a boxing match. I know this about Ward. Watching him yesterday in the fighter meetings, this kid, or the day before, this kid is confident. He, he, he doesn't have a worry. He knows what happened in that first fight. And he just wants to rectify the, the, what happened and then move forward. He knows, he's like, I know I'm gonna beat Delgado. I just wanna do it and then move forward. <laughs> Let's check in with Kern, who's got a report from both corners. In the Cornejo corner, they're saying double and triple the right hand and move forward. Cor Cornejo's coach saying, trust it, trust your right hand. In the Ibarra corner, they're happy with the pace. They want her to continue to work behind the jab. They feel like Cornejo is a sitting duck for the big right hand. But the biggest thing they're saying is don't increase the pace. They don't want Ibarra to gas out. They like this pace. Back to you guys. That's kind of what I said. I said that, I said that Amba, she likes her pace, and she's going to stay right here and keep pushing forward. And I said that Maricela, she's got to trust that right hand that is going to land. Let it go. Let it go. 
Look, we're seeing good back and forth action here. Can I make an editorial statement? It's time boxing universally raises women's boxing up to three minute rounds, not two minute rounds. You see it in some select fights, yeah. but this, especially at the elite star level, I think girls get robbed, the women, of, of right. knockout attempts uh -huh. from not getting the, the full rounds and the action. Sean, why is that still an archaic thing? You, yeah, you know, I, I have no, no, no answer as to why the women are still fighting two minute rounds. However, what I what I do know is that these women have the same abilities that these men have, and uh, if anything, do what the women want. If the women are petitioning to do three minute rounds, let's bump it up. Was Cornejo busy enough right in that hand. round? That was her best round. Take a deep breath. Body. That was her best round. Decide te. Make the decision on what round you're gonna do. This is like round no seven. Round All right. seven. Okay? Got it. Three good rounds. Start putting your punches together. Oh, that's right. Put your punches together. We need we need these rounds, Mari. Yeah. We need them desperately. Stay low, though. When they're exchanges, stay low. Arriba, abajo, y la derecha por arriba. Okay? Deep breath. You got this. You got it. Okay. Well, show me. Show me. Push her back. You heard her. You heard her. Under and over with it. Under and over. Put your punches together. Behind a good stick, don't get, don't get lazy on me, okay? Use that jab as a decoy. Coach said, Coach said stay low. I'm sorry, Bob, to cut you off. Coach said stay low when you when you throw your punches. She's throwing her punches, but her head's high, and you see right there, Alma's punches are, are, are coming, are winging overhand rights and lefts. Right there, she landed a good right hand and actually gave her that round. <laughs> Round number seven. I look everything I heard from, from uh, Cornejo's corner. Throw combinations, stay low, and we need these rounds. Yeah, I'm seeing the urgency. Cornejo has yeah. responded to what her corner asked her to do. Yeah. But is she moving her hands enough? And I, and I, and I heard her say, all right, I got it. I want to, do you really have it? You know, she, she came out working accordingly, but she's got to keep it up. Coach said, don't get lazy on me. We can't afford to get lazy. We got two minute rounds. <laughs> Sometimes it comes down to who wants it more. Ibarra told us she expects this to be an action fight because they both have Mexican blood in them. But she says, I think the victory is more important to me and I want it a little bit more than she does. There you go. She's hurt, buddy. Go to her. She's hurt. Go, let your hands go. Let your hands go. Cornejo's corner on, screaming Mari. that they think she has Ibarra hurt no, to let her hands it. go and, and step, step on top of her. You first. Where's my right hand, baby? Where's my right hand? Little head movement. Little head movement. Go to her. Double jab, right hand. I mean. By my count, Mario, that little long. short one jab from Cornejo was the first punch on, she threw in about 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it was that far between, but Coach says, where's my right hand? And, and that, I believe, is the number one weapon for her at this point. She's shown the left so consistently through this fight. It's time for that right hand. Again, it's Ibarra that presses the action. You got to move around. You see that right hand coming around, go under it, then counter it. Throw the jab, throw the jab, and then come over with the right hand. Watch out for that, for that looping left hand. We can win this. We can win this. Right hand, left hook. All right. Double jab, right hand. Finish with a left hook. When she comes forward again, right hand, left hook. Okay. Right she's gonna come. Right Hit her with a right yeah, hand, left she's hook. Gonna come Your right punches there. are better than her. Yeah. Come on. Good jabs by Alma in, in that round. Good work by Alma uh, consistently through this fight. But uh, there was a clean jab right there that landed. 
Upara has also found a home for that looping right hand, and you're seeing that red blotch a little bit of swelling on the left cheek of Cornejo. Eighth and final round. Ibada has kept the pressure on throughout the course of this fight. See, Steve Spoger, his unofficial scorecard, he's got Ibada comfortably in front with Cornejo only winning one round on his card. Big left hand there by Cornejo. Exchange of punches, too. Well, you know, I think that uh, Arna has the right recipe. When you're going two minute rounds, it's all about punches and bunches. And you got to keep up a certain tempo and I'll hustle your opponent. And that's what Arm was doing tonight. Every punch isn't landing, every punch isn't crisp and, 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 and eye catching, but it's, it's, a, it's a high level, a high, high pace, and, uh, and, and, it's, and it's hard for Conejo to contend with. I don't want to see Cornejo necessarily get desperate, but I do want to see her sit down and let that right hand go. I, I almost feel like she could close her eyes and throw it at this point and, and it would land. You see that one right there almost sweep the face. It was very close to landing. I mean, she's got to have a sense, right, that she's probably behind. She's going to probably look back at Cornejo at this fight and say, man, there was just too many gaps where I didn't do something when there was an opportunity to let my hands go. Oh, man. And you see now, just, she's, she circled, was circling to her right. This is what Coach asked for after the second round. And she's letting her hand go now, and it's, and it's finally landing, but it's too late. There's the bell to end it. That's a great performance from Ibarra. Yeah. Yeah. Great motor, attack. Yeah. Really loved what I saw. Yeah. No, great performance by her. Great attack, it wasn't reckless. It was smart. Well, really good performance by Alma Ibarra and Maricela Cornejo. In the end, it was Ibarra who kept the pressure on over these eight rounds and constantly pushed Cornejo back. How did the judges score it? We're going to find out when we come back here on Ring City USA. We are set for the decision between Maricela Cornejo and Alma Ibarra. Let's send it up to Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, before giving you the official decision, during this International Women's Month, we at Ring City USA would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge these two world-class athletes, as well as world-class boxing officials for their participation this evening. We are truly honored to have them part of our event tonight. A well-deserved round of applause for all three of them. Thank you. Here at El Albergue Olimpico in Salinas, Puerto Rico, we go to the scorecard to determine a winner. Judges Martinez and Stadel turn in identical scorecards of 79 to 73. And Judge Ruiz scores at 77 to 75. All in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision from Monterrey, Mexico. Somebody just said there's no crime in boxing, and I'm, and I'm right here about the, about the I was going to say, this is a feel-good moment to yeah. hear her backstory. Yeah. Professionally, never really given the type of chances that other fighters have. She earned it tonight. Mm, yes, she did. She said, I needed this win more, and I have to go out and take it. Single mom with a seven-year-old son back at home who can't bear to watch mom step in the ring. But there will be some very happy phone calls. And I assure you, any man that's been through what she's been through will be feeling the, this exact same way. That's beautiful. Familia, los amo!
Defining win for Alma Ibarra. The unanimous decision victory over Maricela Cornejo. She put in the work, and then emotion took over. What a performance. Doing great. Going great. Congratulations to Alma. More boxing to come in Puerto Rico.